edition of your news. Last week news, now. Hello, Middlesbrough High School, and welcome to the second edition of your newscast. Last week news, now. I'm Joe Nagel. And I'm Joey Foreman. Joey Foreman, how many news stories do we have this week? Uh, it looks like we have about six stories lined up for us. A baker's dozen. Now, we're going to send you to a new segment with your very own principal. It's time for a minute with Bennett. Hello everyone, big thank you to the student government for allowing us to be a part of their broadcast. And I just wanted to tell everyone how proud I am, as, as always, of our school, but particularly of our basketball programs this year. I've got our seniors with me here, and uh, I just wanted to give them a shout for the uh, hard work that they put into this, this year's season. Our girls are 13 and 13, best record we've had in several years, and ladies, I'm very proud of you. If you're not aware of who these young ladies are, they are the best tandem that we've had in a long time, and this is Miss Bailey Hensley and Erica Gable. And ladies, you all have really done well this season. I'm proud of how well you've represented our school and our team. And over here to my right, I've got these fine young men, Mr. Zach Rainey and Cody Smith. And Zach and Cody have uh, done the things that Coach Wilson and, and, and myself have asked them to do. They've worked hard every game. We've only got one win, but the quality of the character that they've shown out there on the floor, the hard work, they've never stopped, they've never quit in a game, and I've never left there saying that I, I wish I hadn't seen that. What I left there saying was I'm so proud of our guys. And the number of people from other schools that have come up to me and said, your guys are something to be proud of. And we can't wait to see what, we're, what they're gonna do in the future. Uh, speaks well of them and their character and hard work. And guys, I just want you to know how proud I am of you this season. Thank you for that, Mr. Bennett. Students, let me say, you could learn a lot from that man. I agree completely. Up next, we have a few exciting sports stories to hear. Take it away, Marcus. The boys and girls tennis teams are gearing up for a new season. Expectations are high, even though both the boys and the girls have new coaches. I love tennis. It's my absolute favorite sport. I played a lot of sports in high school. Um, but tennis was always my favorite. It's the one I went to Berea College and I played tennis there. Um, it's all my favorite memories from college are from playing tennis. I've, it's been a two year process really. Uh, the guys, uh, Jackson, Joe, and a few of the others uh, sort of got me to do it. Mike Robbins was the one that spearheaded it. And last year I was gonna do it, but uh, sort of fell through. So this year it was a have to do it situation. I feel that she is very organized and is willing to uh, communicate well with the players on the team and is willing to work with us about what we want to work on and she's going to ask our input on a bunch of things. I had Mr. Robinson as a junior and a senior. Um, I've always liked him. He decided he was going to coach tennis this year and that's great. He's already started practice which was about a month earlier than we started last year so I'm really excited to have him as the tennis coach. The new coaches said they are excited. But the scheduling has been difficult. Well, I just started, but so far scheduling has been pretty difficult. Um, you have to talk with all the different schools and all the coaches. We had a tennis coach meeting um, in Corbin, and it was just all the coaches going back and forth and trying to figure out the tournament schedule and individual schedules and whether we'll be home or away. So, so far just scheduling. Uh, the hardest thing to date has been scheduling. Uh, there are some tournament changes with the, the singles and doubles being split from the team tournament, and that really uh, restricted us in our scheduling uh, because of the way it was laid out. So the toughest thing has definitely been uh, just the scheduling uh, difficulty that it, that's, was caused because of those changes. The boys and girls have many of their top players returning, so the expectations are very high. Season's going to be fantastic. I would say the only people we have a chance to lose to is just a couple teams. We'll be really strong, hopefully to go far in the region. Um, I'm ready to improve our skills, and I think that we have a strong team. 
this year. We've all worked together for a while now, so we know each other's strengths and weaknesses. So I think it'll be great. I think we're gonna do super well. The ladies have had um, such a great success in previous seasons, and we haven't hardly lost anybody from last year. All the girls, I asked them to set a goal for this tennis season, and everybody is all about winning all their matches and beating Corbin independent. So that's what we're all about, is winning all our matches. I think we're going to be really good this year. I think we have a strong team from one to six. Uh, we have a strong one in Owen Collins uh, and some good solid players that will really compete this year. Um, so I think our chances of having a strong season are very high. The team will open up playing on March 14th against Whitley County. Let's hope the team can live up to its high expectations. <clears throat> Thank you for that, Marcus. Those are some great stories. I know I'm excited about the tennis season. What about you, Nagel? I'm very excited about the tennis season, Foreman. This is going to be our best season yet. Everybody come out and get ready to watch some greatness. Next up, we have a very, very special weather announcement from our very own Jackson Pearson. Might as well talk about a very, uh, <laughs> that's it, about a very important safety issue in Middlesbrough, Kentucky. Very, very important. We need to talk about some weather safety, okay? It's very serious. Your life is the most important thing to me, so please take this seriously. We all know the weather can be unpredictable. There is bad weathermen out there, and there is good looking weathermen out there. But no matter what, whether it's cold, windy, or just pouring redneck, you have to know what to do to stay safe. In case if you're ever in a fire, you need to stop and hit the freaking floor! Now roll around, keep rolling, get that fire off of you, and then hop back up and hit the club, honey. In this scenario, I'm hit by a tsunami wave. So I hold my breath and look for high ground. Oh look, a desk! I get on top and I stay safe. What's that noise? What is it? I think it's a volcano! I'm running! I'm getting out of there! Oh, looky, I found some water! You gotta fling that water! Douse it, baby, douse it! If you're ever stuck out in the blistering cold and you're just freezing your little hiney off, find your nearest buddy and just snuggle till you're warm. Now I want you guys to take this very seriously. This is not a joking matter. You need to think about your life and your friend's life, okay? Thank you for your Wow, that was an Oscar winning performance by our very own Jackson Pearson. Those weather segments really never get old. No, they do not. Up next, we have a very special tribute video segment by two of our reporters, Chase Yule and Michaela Prater. They're talking about one of the forgotten heroes of our high school. Let's take it to them. Troy Hoskins, the high school's head custodian, is an important part of the school's culture, cleaning and maintaining much of the school. However, many have a general understanding of what he does. Most don't have a full appreciation for the vital role that he played. Just clean a bunch of stuff. Clean the lockers. He probably cleans a lot. Probably just doing regular janitor stuff, just go around cleaning toilets and fixing the other things that's messed up during the school. Oh no, never made him. Yes. Come to work, I open the building up. Uh, walk through the building, make sure everything's all right, everything's working. The heat in the winter, the uh, AC in the summer, make sure everything's working properly. And uh, then I unlock the building for the day. Not only uh, is a custodian do cleaning, but you do a lot of fix it and repair and painting and things like that. 
Troy is a longtime resident of Middlesbrough and has raised two sons who have gone through the school system. He says most of his time is spent with his family outside of school or in nature. I love to hunt, fish, uh, ride four-wheelers with my children, uh, go to church, uh, things of that nature, I guess. Hoskins said what drew him to the profession initially were the school atmosphere and benefits. I did uh, contract work for the Board of Education and uh, I was working at the board building about 15 and a half years ago and the uh, superintendent at that time asked me would I be interested in a job and we talked about it and asked him what it you know we uh, talked about what it consisted of and uh, the pay wasn't there but the benefits was so I took a lot less money to leave my previous job to come here uh, for the benefit package. While a misconception still exists, there were some who expressed high regards for Mr. Hoskins and his impact on the school. Uh, he does a lot of undercover work that a lot of people don't see. Well, I think Troy means a lot to the high school because he is good at what he does. And you can't have a high school if it's not kept in good condition. More than that, Troy has become a friend to people here, and I think that's really important also. He doesn't complain, he just does his job, and I think that's, uh, that's something that you don't get a lot anymore. He is the epitome of part of our mantra at Millsboro High School, tradition, pride, and excellence. Troy takes great pride in his work he exudes excellence daily, uh, whether it be the most menial of tasks or taking on anything to make our school look better. He works very hard every day to ensure that all of us have a, the best environment possible to, to live in while we uh, serve here at school. So Troy is, uh, is a wonderful asset to our school. Hoskins says he has loved his time at Middlesbrough High School and wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I love kids. I love being around them. I've got two of my own that came through Millsburg High School, and uh, this is a kind of a one big family here, and uh, it's just a good place to be, a good place to work. Without a doubt, the high school is an amazing place, in part because of Mr. Hoskins. Thank you, Troy, for everything you do. Thank you, Chase and Michaela. Everybody here at the high school really appreciates Troy. I know I've made a few messes here in my day. I'm glad to have Troy at my back. Troy Hoskins, we all appreciate you greatly at this high school. Next up, viewers. Hello, everyone. This is Batman. And I just wanted to give you a message. If there's ever any freshman walking near you, you have to punch him in the face or politely ask him to move. That summer break is almost here. But you know what I'm going to do on summer break? Nothing! This is Batman. And I'm talking to all you juniors out there. Those about to take the ACT. Well, I've got one message for you. Do your best and try hard. But don't listen to Superman. He's full of crap. Back to you. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the newscast. I hope you enjoyed it. Ladies and gentlemen, I personally promise that you will see another one of these newscasts a week from today. Thank you for sticking with us. Joey, I love you. Love you too, buddy.